The opposition is now calling on lawmakers allied to the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance to do the right thing and oppose the Finance Bill 2023, even with the amendments by the Finance Committee. Azimio says that the bill is, quote, anti-people and that already all their members have been urged to reject it in total, seeing, seeing as no amount of amendment would make the bill palatable. In any event, Azimio is not in the habit of threatening members of parliament. And after this budget, which is clearly anti-people, Azimio will be busy taking the next steps. We are reminding Kenyans this budget will hurt them where it matters most. Food, medicine, fuel, cost of living, and many more as has been outlined. Meanwhile, Kenyans have expressed diverse opinion on the controversial finance bill. Let's hear some of the sentiments from the public. Tunatarajia kukue na suluhu upande wa wakulima, waweze kupata mazao zaidi, ikiwa ni pale kwa fertilizer na ikiwa hiyo mbolea ndi itaweza kusaidia watu wa hapa kuongeza mazao katika mashamba yao. Kwa naomba serikali yangarie sana sana mambo ya viakura, asa mafuta. Unajua mafuta ndiyo tegemeo ya kila kitu. Tena ngareno ya CPC imekua ya ngumu sana, pile sisi pijana, Watoto wetu tumeenda shule yetu ya CBC lakini shule saa hii hakuna walimu mwalimu mmoja na subject 10 na 14 sana kuona maneno ya manjia ministry wa roads ambaye eh, mheshimiwa ulikuja eh, kapsa pet juice juice na uka eh, recommend na ukaongea kuhusu eh, njia ya tindire na njia ambayo ilitengenezwa na kusimama hii kumalizwa katika ile serikali ingine it is all about spending how we spend what we are collecting so ile kitu muhimu hapa Lazima waweke ceiling za hizo loopholes. Kwa sababu, it is so unfortunate mtu ashukue ushuru. Alafu wengine wako hapa tiari kupora na ufanya ubadhirifu na ile tax ambayo tunasanya. Tuna